Hi, my Stampin' friends, it's Charlene from StampinWithCharlene.com and welcome to Almost Live Stampin' with Charlene. It is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. It's the first of the month and that means that the card I'm gonna show you tonight, not only is it a fun fold card, but it is part of my September card class in the mail. And what that means is for uh, a purchase of $35 or more before tax and shipping from my online store, that means that I will send you all of the pre-cut paper and embellishments to make 10 cards to each of the five different designs that I'm gonna show you tonight. You can, if you have your own Halloween stamps, you can use those or you can purchase the bundle that I'm gonna use or purchase anything in the catalog that you would like to purchase. It just uh, has to total $35 or more and USA only. So let me show you tonight's fun fold card. It's Halloween time, I know. Um, it's only the beginning of September, but by the time I close out this card class in the mail and get everything ordered and cut and, you, and get it to you, you'll make them just in time for Halloween. So um, this is a fun fold card. It is a variation of a cute little pocket fold. It fits in a standard size envelope like any other card that we make but it has this adorable little pocket and you can put just a note in there if you want to. You can put a tiny um, little piece of candy. It fits a gift card. It is so fun. So this is the sample that I'm gonna show you how to make tonight. And then stay until the end because I will show you all five cards that are part of the card class in the mail for September, 2021. So let's get started. For tonight's card, I am using items from the Cute Halloween Suite, which is on page 50 and 51 of this mini catalog, which runs from July until December. If you don't have one and you would like one, send me an email at charlene at stampinwithcharlene.com. Um, now, this is something where you can buy the entire suite, which means you will get everything that you see on page 51, the stamp set, the punch, these little uh, treat boxes, these adhesive stars, the ribbon, and the designer series paper. If you want to participate in the card class in the mail and have the cards look exactly like mine, then you would purchase the cutest Halloween bundle, which would be the stamp set and the punch that coordinates. And that, that's $31.50, and then you just add, um, you add on some dimensionals or some adhesive or anything else to get your order up to $35 or more. So this is the stamp set and I really like it because it has so much variety to it and you can make it fun or you could keep it dramatic, cutesy. Um, and then there's also uh, like the little cat is something that you could use all year. You could use the pumpkin um, into fall. Hey boo, you could use all the time and treat yourself you put a smile on my face. Those are just generic stamps that you can use and they're not tied to Halloween. And then there's the fun punch, which punches out the ghost, the cat, and the pumpkin. So let's get started on this fun fold card. To make this card fold, you wanna start with a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, and you wanna score it at two and a half and six and a half. So it folds down um, to a regular card side, but you'll notice that one side is shorter than the other side. So this is what's gonna make the little pocket, this shorter side here. So you can use tear and tape adhesive or you can use your multi-purpose glue. And what you wanna do is just put a teeny bit right along the side right here, and believe it or not, it is strong enough to hold the pocket. So you can go ahead and do that and just press them down just for a minute until they adhere to each other. And I am just going to, I've pre-cut, and this is what you will get. This will already come scored if you participate in the card class in the mail. Um, this is the designer series paper that's part of that suite. Um, I chose the pattern that has these little haunted mansions on them. I just think it's so cute. And then it's double-sided paper, so you can use any side you want. And then this is just white with some black squiggly lines. So all I'm gonna do is put 
this piece of designer series paper here on the top. This is also, if you're new to stamping and new to my card classes in the mail, this month is perfect um, for you to participate because this card layout is so easy. There is nothing complicated about it at all and you don't need a stamp in a uh, cut and emboss machine or anything else just a stamp set and a punch and if you already have halloween stamps just go ahead and order anything else you'd like so there you go that is the pocket card already finished so now what i'm going to do is just add my embellishments and stamping to the top I'm going to select the ghost outline. You'll notice that in this stamp set, there's an outline of the images, and then there's also a solid stamp so that you can add shading if you want to. But because it's a ghost and it's white, I'm just gonna use um, black memento ink and I don't need to use the shading. And for the ghost, this is the little, if you can see it there, this shape right here, that's um, the little eyes and the mouth, and then these are the little ghost hands. So that's what I'm gonna stamp in the middle. And I'm gonna use my uh, pad here because this is a photopolymer stamp, so I wanna get the resistance from this mat so that I'll get a nice sharp image. And I'm using Memento ink. So I just am taking three pieces of basic white cardstock and I'm gonna stamp three little ghosts on there. They are so fun. Oh, and you know what? While I'm doing this, I just thought of something else that you can do with this image. I'll show you that on another video. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take that one off and now I'm gonna use the little body. This is so cute. Um, and then using, still using Memento Ink, I'm gonna go in there and line up the little face and just put the little ghost face on. So easy, so cute. If you want, you can use some of the soft pastels or um, just use your finger if you want and just rub a little bit of blush on the cheeks of the ghost if you wanna give it some more color. And then I'm gonna take the punch and just punch out. This is the little ghost shape. Just gonna put this in there and punch out my three little ghosts. These um, little guys remind me of the cards that I made over and over and over again last Christmas with the little snowman, if you guys remember that. They're just so cute. And this isn't a stamp set that I would normally gravitate toward, but I am kind of starting to like cutesy stamp sets. So it's kind of funny how our tastes change over the years. Who would have thought? Okay, so now I have my three ghosts, and then um, in your uh, card kit in the mail, you'll also get a piece of paper for the sentiment. There are five different sentiments in here. So for this card, I'm gonna use Have a Fab Boo Lus Halloween. And I'm gonna stamp that on this piece of paper. The reason I love photopolymer is because you can see where you're stamping and you can pretty much get it straight every time, hopefully. So I'm gonna stamp this right in the center, just like that. Okay, so now let's get back to the card. And what I did was cut a piece of cardstock that fits, this is five and a quarter by one, and I'm gonna put it on here to add some dimensions, but first I am going to use some of this gingham ribbon, which is part of the Halloween set. You see how cute that is? And I'm just gonna adhere this to the back with some tear and tape adhesive, and that'll give it a nice strong hold, so. Let's just tape some down there like that. Some right there. And no, I cannot believe that I'm making Halloween cards right now. <laughs> like, 
this year zipped by. Maybe that's a good thing though. So I'm just gonna put it on the card. If you can see, I'm leaving a tiny, like maybe a quarter or eighth of an inch border on the bottom. Okay, and now I'm gonna use dimensionals to attach everything else. So let's first attach the sentiment. And this I wanna be over on the right-hand side of my card. So with dimensionals, I am just going to oh, put it right down. Oops, hold on a minute. I'm forgetting something. I actually put it on a piece of old olive cardstock to give it a little frame around it to make it stand out a little bit more. And I am going to put this down here. That's way too much glue, by the way. Whoops. I'm gonna put it down here on the bottom of the card. And now I am going to work on my ghosts before I adhere them to the card. Okay, of course, any little image that I stamp that has little eyes, I have to add little miniature googly eyes to. So you can see right there on those little ghosts, I added the googly eyes. So to do that, I just have these tiny ones here. And yes, these will be part of the card kit, card class in the mail. To do that, I just take my thumb and I roll up a little Stampin' Dimensional so that it fits behind the googly eye and then I just stick it right on the image. So just take it, roll it up into a little ball and then stick your eye on there. And then for the ghosts, what I did was I added two dimensionals to the back, one at the top of the ghost and one down here at the bottom so that it they stick over top of the ribbon, just like this. Now, I told you guys this was easy. So this is the first design. Okay, are you ready? You ready? Oh, stop it right now. This one says you put a smile on my face. Hey boo. And with this one, you could easily use the uh, generic designer series paper with the cat and the hey boo, and it doesn't have to be a Halloween card. Treat yourself. And finally, trick or treat. So those are the five cards. That was so easy, wasn't it? I hope you'll participate in the card class in the mail. So this is the sample I made tonight just to review this one and this one with the spiders and the googly eyes really make these cards. It sets them apart from any other card that the recipient is going to get. Plus you made it yourself. This one with the little kitty cats. And of course you can use the kitty cats throughout the year. This one with the skeleton head. And then finally, this one with the pumpkins and there are different uh, faces that you can use. So you can uh, use this pumpkin stamp through the fall for your fall cards. So, so fun. Visit my blog at stampingwithcharlene.com for all the details on how to sign up for the September card class in the mail. Be sure when you do place your order that you enter the hostess code, which is in that it's in the email. It's in um, and it's on my blog. Um, that way I'll know that you want to participate in the card class in the mail. And you can also email me if you want to at charlene at stampingwithcharlene.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next week for another fun fold card.